All right, guys. For today's video, we're going to be doing two hams, a butt, and a shank. Uh, this is going to be incredibly simple. Should be hopefully a quick video. We'll see. But, uh, you know, don't skip over on it just because it is quick and simple. It is very, very good. Um, I think you'll really enjoy it. I mean, it's definitely a, an alternative to going out and buying your ham at, say, Honey Baked Ham. All right, first thing you want to do is go ahead and get some slices in it. I'm terrible at this part, but you'll get the idea. All right, once you got it cubed up in those little squares, uh, you're going to want to add an adhesive. Today I'm going to use uh, just a regular French's yellow mustard. You can use uh, yellow mustard, brown mustard, really doesn't matter. You're not going to taste it. Uh, you just want something to make that rub stick. Go ahead and rub those in. All right, so now you just want to cover it with your favorite rub. Um, this one is actually for my mom. She likes it really sweet, and if you watched the last rib video, uh, we picked the Cosmo ribs because they were pretty much the sweetest, so we're gonna use the Cosmo Q um, Honey Killer B on those. And on mine, I kind of like a little bit of sweet heat, so we're gonna be using the uh, Plowboys Barbecue Yardbird Rub. Really good on pork. And then mix in uh, a little layer of the uh, Killer Hogs Hot Barbecue. Give that a little extra kick. Yep, and you just want a nice even layer. Now you don't have to have any of these rubs for this recipe. You can use any of your favorite pork rubs. They'll all work pretty good. Uh, it doesn't take much to get these hams tasting good. If you don't have a pork rub, you can look up um, you can look up one online. They're really easy to make. And if you make your own, you can set the flavor profile exactly how you like. That way you'll get the, the taste you want every single time. Just gonna get a light dusting over the top of this killer hogs. All right, hams are all seasoned up. We're gonna get the pit fired up. All right, once the pit's at temp, we can go ahead and get the hams on. So, my method to madness here, uh, this end runs a little hotter than this end, so I'm putting a smaller ham on this end. This one comes in about nine pounds, this one comes in around 10 pounds. I'm running the pit at 325, and these will go probably uh, 15 to 20 minutes per pound. I'm gonna come back out and check in about two hours. I do want to mention that we're going to take these to an internal temperature of 130, pull off, glaze, and then get back on here until 140. So stay tuned for that. Alright guys, it's been about an hour and a half. I'm just going to go ahead and get some moisture on these things. Got a little mixture here of about a cup of orange juice and about two cups of water. For the glaze, really simple, just these three ingredients. Um, I'm doubling it for today, so if you have one, just cut these all in half. Uh, it's gonna be two cups of packed brown sugar, one cup of orange juice, and then a half cup of um, honey. This, in this honey, I have a chipotle honey and just a, a standard honey. All right, gonna get these mixed together the best I can. <laughs> so pour it in here. All right, now you just want to whisk it until it all becomes a liquid. Really want to work that brown sugar in. All right, and once the hams hit that 130 mark, we're going to get this on there. All right, both hams are at 130. We're going to go ahead and get them off here and onto a pan. They are 
ready for the glaze. Uh, sorry about my makeshift table here. It's actually my Blackstone under here. All right, I did a nice pour. I'm gonna go ahead and use this OXO uh, basing brush to kind of make sure I get all the little cracks, crevices. Got a lot of extra here. This is gonna give you a really nice bark. I don't know if you've ever had a honey baked ham uh, from honey baked ham, but this is 10 times better than that. And you, if you've had it, you know how good that is. And you made it yourself. All right, now you want to get them back on the pit. I'm going to use the same principle, the heavier one, towards the hotter end. All right, hams are done. Uh, the other ham already went to my mom. Did not get to taste test that one, but I will taste test ours for you. Um, they look delicious. Going to cut into it now, show you guys what it looks like. much moisture it's Peyton's piece <laughs> all right guys so that was the cook Here's the ham, oh, really nice bark. Gonna give it a little taste test. It's really, really I knew it would be good, we've had it before. <laughs> but it is really, really good. Simple, easy, quick, can't go wrong with it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next Wednesday. Peace.